I, I need to say to you, when I put the plan together in front of the financial officials, and we could manage to get a budget created, and, and, and I felt so good for that, a couple of millions of rounds, and we are really going to do it. We are really going to start with a mass cleaning, mass educational campaign, but also to bring conservation into some communities. And I tested it, and it's not a case of one need to allow others to do it and use it backwards in your office. Mm -hmm. And for the last couple of Saturdays, last Saturday um, in Bialar Flats, the previous Saturday in Eitzer Flats, and to taken up such an awful lot of one's time to go from area to area, even to go into Hamburg, even to go into Ibizami Yetu, and that sort of thing, even to go to Le Luantle, the hostels, and those areas, and to say to the people, let's gear up, and let's get a sense of the conservation and the greening of our areas around us, and that sort of thing. And I would really, bring this message to you. Um, I did not invite you guys to any of the sessions in the city of Cape Town and Julia, sorry for that, but I think at the next meeting I will definitely send an email through to you guys just to sit in, just to see what we are doing and to see how best you guys could play a role as well. And I think there's definitely a role for you guys to play, to assist us in bringing the conservation more into our communities for people to really understand on the ground what we are trying to do. Um, I want to, to say to you, um, and, and, and then the other issue is the whole issue around the balance. We need to strike that balance. Uh, list, listening, or not listening, but scanning the book. And my eyes fall on a number of the issues, number of the pictures, number of the areas, and I could familiarize myself with some of the problem areas we're facing. The princess flies, number one. Um, the Rona Flays, number two, and that sort of thing. Even the Drift Sands and Makassa people talking about so passionately, and that sort of thing. And with some of those areas, we are indeed facing some problems. Princess Flay is one classic example of it, with the proposed development, etc., etc. Even there, we need to talk a little bit more about it, because, because uh, the book is actually putting up a red flag to say, we warn. That is what, what the writers are trying to say, and it is their duty to warn. It is a duty to say, yes, a red flag going up. But at the end of the day, decisions is also imminent. Um, Stephen and Julian, whoever, Decisions is also imminent, and we need to get around the table to talk about some of those issues as well. Because if you start with development, I mean conservation is gone, and it might be gone forever. Bear that in mind. Um, ah, um, I have, um, I, I move completely off my written speech. I am not going to the speech. Uh, I, I just. <laughs> Um, because scanning the book and listening to you guys, I rewrote my speech almost completely. Um, but, but, but you are correct. We need, we need to start um, your, your issue about doing things differently. And I like that. And I want to thank you for that. At the end of the day, my taking is always we need to start thinking out of the box with regard to a number of things, how we do things, and how best can we do things differently, and how best can we strike the necessary balance. Um, um, just one other example of what I'm trying to say, and I hope you, under, you get the, the, the message uh, in, uh, somehow. Um, also talking last night to, to students of, of the University of Cape Town, and to address even one or two uh, social and, and, and conservation issues with them as well. And, 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 and the classical issue around uh, uh, PHA, which is not in the book, but it, it is not, uh, I'm not sure if it is a wetland area and that sort of thing, but be as it may, and, and, the, and the discussion were around, must we allow development there or not, or must we preserve it as a agricultural area, what is it we need to do? And sometimes we, as the politicians, do not have the necessary answers. And luckily, one good thing we have done, we asked Professor Sue Parnell to make a study to look at the farmland area, the agricultural area, uh, to look and even to investigate, is it to some extent environmentally sensitive as well, and to look at food security in South Africa, or actually not in South Africa, but specifically in Cape Town, 
um, because for me that area is the only major agricultural piece of land in this Cape Town producing um, producing food, producing vegetables and, 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 and that sort of thing. And, and again, a red flag. Um, if we allow 22,000, and that is actually the point, if we allow 22,000 housing units, mm -hmm. that is what the developers want to do, to go up in that PHA area, again it is gone forever for the environment and for conservation and even for the agriculture in particular. And that is the issues the conservationist and the environmentalist and, uh, and you guys, you guys need to advise. Proper clinical advice for us to make a clinical political decision. Uh, I want to say I can dwell on and on and on. Let me, let me round up by, by saying to you, um, thank you very much for what you guys are doing for the conservation and for the environment. Um, we need you, we need the communities, to, uh, we need to take hands with each other. And uh, from a political point of view, I want to say to you and I want to say to all the other staff, I think it, it might not seem like it, but I think you get a sense through what I've said that we actually support the environment. We actually support conservation. Um, one or two people were talking, uh, the young lady at the back were talking about whatever you do, um, you involve the environment and that sort of thing. And visiting China last year, I had a piece of the environment right in my stomach. <laughs> right in my stomach. Can you believe that? And um, sitting around the table, I was so cross with some of the staff of the city, they really pulled me a dirty. And uh, when you eat with the Chinese people, they love eating around a round table. And the table goes around mini bowls of food and that sort of thing. And they said, and I, I were busy with negotiations, and they said to me, Dan Pla, to that food you must have a taste of that. And I said, okay, I, I'm going to take your gut feeling and, and that sort of thing. And eat and eat, and I said to myself, but this meat doesn't taste right. <laughs> <laughs> It definitely doesn't taste right. And uh, took in those chops, Chinese chopsticks, and I look at it and I look right into the eyes of a massive big frog. And, <laughs> and, and, I had, and I had three quarters of the frog already in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and during the discussions, I write them a mini letter and I said, when we get into Cape Town, all two of you are fired. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, um, just in conclusion to say to you all, um, I think it's a beautiful book, wonderful. I would love uh, to present a copy of the book. I don't know how it's going to work, even if, if my office needs to pay for that, but for each mayoral committee member, a copy at least. I think they must see the book. I think they must scan the book. I think, I th I think it's a well-produced, pre well-prepared book. And for all of you who are involved with that, thank you very much. And to all of you, once again, um, I applaud the beautiful work you guys are doing. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, Mr. Pl